We are approaching seven months of absolutely no information from Rockstar regarding the next DLC. I mean, even last year with the Casino DLC, they at least teased that at the beginning of June. But we are approaching July, and it doesn't look like we're going to get anything anytime soon. There's, of course, been a bunch of speculation regarding the next DLC. Obviously, everyone sort of is hoping or thinking it's potentially that Cops and Crooks DLC because some of the leakers have kind of teased that over the last few weeks, but still, we don't really officially know. But because of all of the police protesting now, some of the speculation is that that DLC, it might not happen because Rockstar, they don't want to release a Cops DLC in the midst of cop protests that are going on. It would kind of be a bad look, and a lot of people are thinking Rockstar probably won't do that. So if this potential DLC is delayed, what could be coming? But in this video, I want to talk about why it doesn't need to be delayed and how Rockstar could very easily save the Cops and Crooks DLC simply by rebranding it. And honestly, if you think about it, what I'm going to say makes way more sense in GTA Online for our GTA Online characters than actually becoming cops. So for the sake of this video, we're going to assume the Cops and Crooks DLC was real and that it got delayed or postponed or canceled because of the protests. And this is how I think Rockstar could fix everything and give us everything we want. So one of the biggest complaints I've seen out of people who don't want a Cops and Crooks DLC is that it doesn't make sense for our character. And honestly, you're right. But then again, if you think about it, does the game make sense? The game's called Grand Theft Auto. How many cars are you stealing? Hmm? You gotta buy everything nowadays. So for the people that say, oh, the game's Grand Theft Auto, it's not about cops. That's, I don't know. I don't think that's a valid argument. But the argument that it doesn't really make sense for our characters kind of fits because we have, what, so many illegal businesses at this point, it'd be very hard to become a cop, basically, or it just wouldn't make much sense. However, what about a vigilante? Now, vigilante missions have been in the GTA series, uh, you know, for a long time. But unfortunately, they were not in GTA 5 for whatever reason. Now would be a perfect time to bring that back. And if you think about it, being a vigilante isn't that much different than being a cop. So they can literally just rebrand the whole Cops and Crooks DLC, if that was the thing, to a vigilante DLC. Literally, like everything sort of transfers over. It's pretty much the same concept. You're protecting the city from criminals. But it would make a little bit more sense for our character because a vigilante doesn't really have that many rules. And, you know, you don't have to be super clean. So you could still expand your illegal businesses and do all that stuff while protecting the city and honestly this isn't really anything new our characters being vigilantes because in the doomsday heist that's basically what we were we're these criminals and we're basically charged with saving the world and we did so they could even tie that into this potential dlc we'll touch more about the story and, and the business aspect in a minute but Going through some of the concepts that this Vigilante DLC would have, you would still have cop-style missions. So maybe, you know, some of the missions could be helping escort, like, witnesses to the courthouse or maybe even helping the cops, like, transfer prisoners around. In the beta, there was a sting mission, and this could basically work the same. You would just, you basically be saving an NPC that's captured and, you know, is a bargaining chip between two gangs in the game. And you'd have to go in and save them. There could even be assassination missions. Like, you have to go and kill a bad guy. And that would make more sense for a vigilante rather than a cop. So, I think mission-wise, you have still a lot of options. And I know there was an arrest feature in the beta when the Cops and Crooks was initially, like, in GTA. You could still have something similar. It wouldn't be maybe an official arrest, but... There could definitely be, for some of the lesser missions, you would get maybe bonus points if you took the person you're trying to get in a non-violent way. 
like they have stun guns let us use the stun guns and then maybe we have to transport that person that npc to the cop station and just leave them like on the curb basically and it would be the same thing you could still have that bad stat so if you just go around as a vigilante killing people maybe you don't get access to more vigilante missions because that's not what it's supposed to be for some of the lesser missions again you would use the the non-violent way i think that could be a really cool concept and again it would work basically the same as the cops dlc now instead of cop precincts and the police stations and stuff as far as properties they could get real creative with this i mean there are so many little nooks and crannies in gta throw in like some more underground facilities obviously we already have facilities and we already have the underground gun running bunker but make a new one because that's what they'll do and charge us millions for it how cool would it be to have an entrance like i don't know behind the waterfall on one of the rivers or in that little tiny cave on the sort of uh western side of the map kind of middle in those mountains if you guys know what i'm talking about then you know what i'm you know the little cave that could be a cool entrance you could do the actual cave on the far right hand side of the map on the beach like there's a lot of really cool areas that you could have cool entrances for these underground uh i don't know bat cave style properties basically and then maybe with the addition of a new vigilante a dlc you would have a new mechanic shop it would basically work like benny's where you would bring cars to upgrade them to like the vigilante status obviously that would cost you know a million dollars two million dollars whatever it is but that would add like i don't know cop sirens and cop lights it wouldn't put the police stickers and all that on because you're not a cop but it would at least put the lights and the sirens and maybe you can customize that a little bit you could also have the option to purchase a cop radio that would allow you to hear where various crimes are happening and they could add some of these crimes like in single player basically into online and those would just be little free mode event type jobs that could be cool you could still call in backup and and do all those little features i mean literally we have that with merryweather maybe just have a beefed up merryweather or i don't know something along those lines they could add like a surveillance chopper drone or some sort of new feature that i'm sure would cost millions of dollars that gives you i guess access to stuff i don't know maybe they could tie in with orbital strike maybe you have an overview of the map and you see things in real time i think the overall structure of a cops and crooks dlc would work fantastically if they just rebranded it as a vigilante dlc now the one part that i've kind of had trouble coming up with something is the business part or like the story part i don't exactly know how you could add a business to this sort of dlc if anyone has any suggestions for sure let us know i think the best way to do a vigilante dlc would be to have a story and you know that's not something unfortunately they could easily just come up with on the spot but again considering that we have basically already become a vigilante and the doomsday heist maybe they could tie it into that some way maybe they could have some more heist style missions that have us being a vigilante like we have to do some stuff that basically the cops can't do or the fib can't do if we're talking you know to the same sort of npcs we've dealt with in the past but they need to be done to save the city. I mean, literally just imagine Batman, but in GTA. You could have a bunch of really cool and, and creative outfits as well, a bunch of new clothing options. They could even have their own sort of fun looking Batman style outfit. That would be cool. Hell, the Vigilante, the actual car could be used perfectly in this DLC. They could upgrade that, make a Mark II version of it it look there's a lot of cool ideas and i honestly think now it's unfortunate for the people who wanted that true cops and crooks dlc to happen but if that's not going to happen a vigilante dlc is the next best thing so if rockstar for whatever reason didn't think of this hopefully maybe if they're like you know what we're just going to cancel it maybe now they, they think hey we can just change it to a vigilante dlc i think that would work really really well but that's gonna do it for this video thank you all for watching i just thought this was an interesting topic to discuss and of course let me know your thoughts in the comment section and if you have any other better ideas 
than mine, then let me know as well. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a like if you did and enjoy subscribe for more GTA online content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.